Anchor Steam Lager. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Band Quarks and Buzz Reviews. I've got another special one here today. This is the Anchor Steam Lager that has been brewed by the Anchor Brewery since, um, well, they've been going since 1896. They haven't been doing the lager since 1896. But I have just reviewed their steam beer and I was really surprised. It was really good, very nice flavour. It was classed as a lager. To me, it tasted like a, a pilsner with some real sort of nice caramel malts. And I wanted to try this one next to compare it to see how different it was. Um, they're a really good brewery. Uh, this is the first time, well, the, the the steam beer that I tried, that was the first time that I'd um, had some of their beer. And I was really impressed. And I thought that, uh, you know, I should... I'm glad I bought both of these together because um, I want to compare the two. And uh, I want to, you know, see how they how they measure up to each other. What are the differences? Now, if you didn't see the other video, it's um, uh, the Anchor Brewery are based in San Francisco. They have been there since 1896, as they make a big thing about on their label. They've um, they were basically at that time they were um, catering for the uh, gold prospectors that were all heading out to the west coast to try and make their fortune and um, prospect for gold. Most of them ended up broke, but you know they drank some good beer. But the the name, uh, the Steam Brewery or the Steam Beer, gets its got its name from the way that they would uh, ferment the um, uh, the beer on top of the roof and where the heat, you know, where they boiled up all the all the mash and the tons and all that, and they were fermenting it. The cold air, the cold San Francisco air, would would make the steam rise up, and that's where it got its it got its name. Looking at this, this seems to be um, more of a traditional style lager. I'll just read out some of the bump from the side of it. It says made in San Francisco with um, two row California barley cluster hops. Not heard of them. Uh, the premier hop in the 19th century California. Ah, right, that's probably one I've heard of. Them. And our own lager yeast, okay. This all malts brew, all malts brew, and it contains hops. How is it an all malt brew? Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. Is uh, Krausner, Krausen and sorry, I always sound like a dickhead when I'm reading off these labels. I don't know why. It's it's Krausen and lagered in our cellar, in our cellars. It's golden colour, distinctive aroma, creamy head. Balanced depth of flavour and smooth finish makes the Anchor California Lager a delicious celebration of California's unique unique brewing heritage. And uh, there's a bit about the, um, uh, the the brewery on the side of the label as well. Here's the front of the label. Quite a nice label, full colour, very old school. Don't know if you can see it or not. I'm doing these reviews during the day or in the evening, and there's a lot of sun out here. So you might not be able to see that, but there's a little bit more on the side there. Here is the cap. It is a very nice gold anchor on a red background. Right. Let's see what is going on with this. Okay, so it's a 355ml bottle. It's 4.9% in the alcohol volume. The ingredients are... Uh, water, barley malt, hops and yeast so it's not a normal malt drink then ok, whatever um, yeah, and it's a lager so let's get it open and let's see what's going on in the bowl oh that's nice, look I've got, uh, I've just opened that up and the on the 
I don't know if you can see this or not, but inside the cap, it has got a bear, which is the, um, if you look at the California state flag, it's got a bear on it. Uh, I went over to San Francisco, and I'm sure I've walked past this brewery. And um, oh, I'll tell you exactly where I was going. I was going to the Oakland Harley Davidson um, bike dealership. And we passed this, and I remember thinking I should go back there, and I never did, and I'm absolutely gutted. But that's by the by. What are we getting on the nose out of the bowl? Wow. Again, them sweet malts that I was getting in the steam beer. Slightly caramel. Sweet caramel malts. Mm, okay. And, and there's a little sort of hot bitterness coming from that as well, but it's mostly them caramel, sweet caramel malts. Let's get into the glass and see what, what's, what's happening. Right, immediately, that is a different colour from the steam beer. Steam beer was an amber colour, which they, they do say. This is more like a gold colour, golden straw colour, which is cold, it's coming out of the fridge as well. One thing ahead, fair bit of carbonation, very, very slightly hazy as well. So, what's on the nose? Yeah, even more of them, even more of them sweet caramel malts, which is unusual when you look at the, you look at that lager and you think, that's going to be just, you know, very lemon citrusy, but it, it, it certainly doesn't smell that way. Let's get it down the hatch. Let's see what it tastes like. It's a very nice, refreshing lager. There isn't as much caramel malt as I thought there would be. There is some, but there's more biscuit malt on that. But it's more balanced as well. I am getting some lemon citrus now, and I'm getting some of the hop, slight hop bitterness on, uh, as well. It just tastes like a really good lager. It's not in the same league as the German Hellas, you know, and the Bavarian stuff. But having said that, it's not bad at all. I can't complain. It doesn't stand out as being fantastic, but then again, there's nothing nasty in that. It sounds like I'm being harsh on it, but it's clean drinking, it's refreshing, it's doing everything a lager should do. Little Slight harshness with that carbonation. There's still some carbonation going in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but <clears throat> there's some carbonation in there. You do get that on the mouthfeel, so it's not as smooth. It's not as smooth as you would think, but it goes down quite nice. And it's been quite warm today, so this is just the ticket. I have to say, I prefer the steam beer. The lager's good but their steam beer is much better. And if you like lager, I think you prefer that as well. If you like flavoursome lager, it's, it's more like a, a rich pilsner, that steam beer. This is, it's lighter. I mean, it, this would be perfect on a summer's day, or, you know, when all this bullshit virus is over, I imagine the world will have its ozone burnt out from the amount of barbecues that are going to happen. But this would go down really well, I think. It's not cheap though. That was over £3 a bottle and it's 355 mil. So you've got to weigh that up as well. What's the verdict? 
Well, as I sort of mentioned earlier, the price for 355 mil, which is what this is, basically half a pint, it was over three pounds. Now, does it warrant that price tag? To be honest, that is a little steep for what it is. I mean, it's a good lager, don't get me wrong, but it's just good. It's not outstanding. It doesn't, you know, knock, knock my socks off. It's not like any of the German stuff that's available at the moment for, for slightly cheaper as well. I think there's better out there. But on its own merits, this is a nice drink. Uh, the steam beer, I would recommend over this. I think it's more flavoursome. It's just as refreshing if you get it in the fridge cold and it's very easy drinking, but it's got some flavour to it. This is a nice lager. Certainly better than all your macro brewed shit that you get in the corner shop. So what would I give it? Um, all things considered, price, flavour, on its own merits, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I won't give it any more because of the price and how much you get. If it was a 500ml bottle or even a 660, I may give it a higher mark, but you're always going to pay extra because it's come from the States and to be honest as good as it is I would struggle to pay over £3 a bottle for effectively half a pint of lager you know on a summer's day you're going to be fucking caning that and the pound signs will be racking up do you remember when the Tom and Jerry cartoons we got whacked over the end I remember watching one of them and the fucking pound signs were just or the dollar signs were just you know going round and round in his eyes that's what it'd be like if you bought a load of these you'd just be necking them you get through them so quickly as well but there you go 7 out of 10 recommended if you're in America and it's cheap over here though I think you're going to you know the, the pound to pissed up ratio wouldn't add up and remember, beer is working class champagne.